and and like Perry, who said that I'm a genius. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, let's not get carried away. I'm very bright, and you know, don't call me a genius, <laughs> but I am smarter than most people, and especially when it comes to the wrestling business. And um, <laughs> so you can you can take it like they do. Or you can realize I'm right and then get hot and angry about it and then try to show how much you know and then you show that you don't know very much mm-hmm. when you try to badmouth me. That just makes you look stupid. Yeah. And yeah, there's a couple hundred of you out there that uh, hate me bad enough that you write letters like that. Speaking well, of. I'm not concerned about <laughs> you 200 jackasses that don't like me. I'm about the several. Well, I, I started to say several thousand. That would be an underestimate. The the the, the eighty eighty some odd thousand over at Wildlife Radio. The sixty six, seventy thousand that we've got over at uh, Who's Slamming Who. Now the difference is, is that the eighty some odd thousand fans that tune into Wildlife Radio. Yeah, Callie's got a few of those fans. <laughs> they tune in to hear Callie. Ah, uh, wow. Well. And uh, and and they're and they're independent listeners that are just happen to be entertained when Kenny Boland's on the radio, and realize that they might learn something and, and take a piece of what I say and, and allow it to help them in life. Over at Who's Slamming Who, what you got are 60 or 70 diehard wrestling fans who think they know more than me. Well, and every and every damn one of them are dead wrong when it comes to that. There seems to be somebody over there at the Who's Slamming Who that likes to leave very lengthy comments that... He doesn't have too good of an opinion, and I think you know who I'm talking about. That's that guy that lives in the basement. He lives (laughs) in his mother's basement, eating his mother's food, using his mother's broadband (laughs) internet service, using his mother's computer, probably one of them old, big, clunky white ones, doesn't even have the nice flat screen monitors like the king possesses. And um, that's the type of loser that this particular person is. I'm not even going to call this person by the nickname that I gave him because it makes his day. Okay, well. He he, he goes on there, and and, and from what you're all telling me, he leaves these big 19-paragraph statements (laughs) of how bad he hates the king. And that's the most famous this guy ever gets is trying to badmouth me and to talk about what I'm doing on radio. And, you know, I'm the one that's... You, you think these are the only two radio stations I've asked <laughs> to be a part of? I get requests to be on radio stations every single day. Every day, huh? There's only There's only so much time in my schedule for all the wow. appearances and everything that I do. And I make time for Wildlife Radio on Fridays at 1 o'clock. Yes, you do. I make time for Who's Slamming Who on Mondays at 6 o'clock. And I do the OVW Wrestling Television Show for the last 13 years at the CW Network. And I do that every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock. Well, and then I squeeze into various appearances that I can. Right. That's what I make time for. That's what I elect to make time for. So CW is lucky. Tommy Fierro is lucky. <laughs> Big Damien, the big cheese up in Maine is lucky. He almost wasn't lucky because he almost lost me on this show. <laughs> but due to the apologies and the care package, I, I'm probably going to be around for a long time. I'll be around here, Callie, when you're gone. <laughs> okay. Oh, sicko, oh, sicko will be running this show. You don't think sicko don't want to run this show? <laughs> you don't think he wants to be the one to interview the king every week? <laughs> He's waiting for you to screw up. He might be your old stooge. He might be the one that emailed old Damien up there telling him what you did to screw up the radio show last week and have a half hour of dead time. You think so, huh? Yeah, it could be. I don't know about that, Kitty. I don't know. Well, I, well. Uh, you know, just for that comment, I'm going to go on and read Ripper's comment here. Um, <sighs> Fiera, he says, Fiera went silent during uh, the, all the accusations that are going to be made. I might have to word this a little different, just so I don't let nothing out. Uh, I'd have to be more silent as well, amazed at the sheer ignorance that bo- that that is Bowen. Bowen lies every week, and apparently this one isn't any different. Also, apparently all those little girls Bowen is finger banging after his show. Oh, all oh, that mm. show seems to be rubbing off on him, hanging up on people. How childish he says. Um, this fat, emotionally fragile miscreant has no idea how to work, really. It would have been better had he outed someone else as a stooge, such as the Iron Sheik. That feud might have been more entertaining, but Bowen is a fuck-up by nature, so he's watering down and running any ideas that might have once been potentially viable. 
Mm-hmm. Laugh mm-hmm. out loud. Is anyone surprised? Well, means, he says, fuck Bowen, there. pussy, that come from the river. And like I said, I'm not going to call this little cretin by any name whatsoever. But this is where he's right. It would have been more entertaining had I called out the sheik, because the sheik is a babbling moron. No one knows what the sheik is saying. He rambles for six or seven minutes every week, and nobody knows what he says. He may have been a great wrestler. He's not a good wrestling radio entertainer, because you have to speak with diction. You have to speak in complete sentences. You have to be, or at least it helps to be, a paragon of sartorial pulchritude like myself. So, yeah, it may have been more entertaining, but guess what it wouldn't have been, retard? (laughs) The truth. It would not have been the truth. And the truth is what I stand for. And when you accuse me of finger-banging, that proves to me right there what a little... You're no better than the Craigslist murderer. (laughs) Because you are, you are apparently eat up with the thought of some adult doing something terrible to a child. Uh, I try to help those children, and then you apparently get something out of it by accusing me of doing such a horrible thing. You are a sick individual, and ought to check yourself into a mental institution somewhere. I've got good people up here that work for Central State Hospital in the Louisville, Kentucky area. I used to work there. just might be able to help you. Callie's very familiar with those people over there at Central State Hospital. Yes, 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 I am. I don't know where it is you're from, retard. (laughs) But you're a special breed of retard, and you need to check yourself into a facility somewhere. Because anyone that gets off on thinking such horrible things about little children (laughs) is a sick, sick, I'm not even going to call you a (laughs) man. You're a sick individual. Because you're not a man. I guarantee you, 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 you're you just a pathetic little waste whose own mother probably doesn't even want to say good morning to you. Each day she hopes she croak and gets out of her house and gets a job, which I don't think we have to worry about you ever obtaining. Because people don't hire people like you. You well, sit in your mother's basement and you waste away to nothing. He goes on. That's the best, and that's the best that's ever going to happen to you. So you continue to tune into my shows and learn a little something. Make something dirty out of innocent things. And and spit on what I do trying to help the youth of America. He goes Thank on. Thank God there's about 150,000 people out there that know otherwise. The, uh, the, go ahead, go ahead, Callie. The, the Thank you. The the comments wasted more than enough time on it, freak. Well, unfortunately, the comments go on and on. And like I said, he he writes a a, a book, um, but I'm trying to read just parts of them here. And you're doing exactly <laughs> what he wants you to do. Well, he wants to it's, reach out and grasp some little piece of fame that that I have on your radio show, or that even you have. Well, the reason He's trying to reach out and just grab a little to hear. Out of your lips, his little name that he uses. <laughs> well, the, re- the reason comment on him that makes his day. I- I've given him way more than he deserves already. The reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to touch on parts of what he's saying to give you a chance, you know, to to comment back and and maybe rip his ass, you know. But um, what do you think it is I just did? Well, you, you're doing a good job at that, but he brings up some more points here. Let me read this part. He says, fuck TNA and fuck Bowen. Both are minor league cluster-fucking train wrecks. This was a short, boring segment by Fat, Pathetic Crybaby. And don't forget to pay... Well, he, he listened to my segment again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Once again, old retard trying to learn a little something. He says, don't forget to PayPal me some no, money. No, no offense, by the way, the normal uh, functioning retards out there who are trying to get by in life. <laughs> that particular one. I don't think they go by retard, Kenny. The, yeah, the well. normal ones. Yeah. I think it's mentally challenged. But anyways. Don't he says, Don't forget to PayPal me some money so I can pay preteens for blowjobs after the show. I'll throw There you go, there you go. His his mind in the gutter once again. I'll throw I'm in the to, I'm trying to help people and he turns it into a sexual favor on the internet. He says I'll, that tells you what he's all about. He says I'll go ahead and call the police. <laughs> track him down like they did the Craigslist killer. Trace his email. Let's get some police over there. Throw him in a white coat and, and escort him to Central State or an equal functioning facility. 
That's what you do to people like him. Stop him before he hurts somebody.